Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be starting a new week-long meal challenge, like diet challenge. So two weeks ago I did vegan and that kind of was too easy. I really enjoyed it, so that's how I know I have to pick something harder this week. So this week I'm going to be going paleo, which to be honest is really scary. I have no idea what I'm supposed to eat at all. Um, so I'm going to be eating a lot of eggs, I know that. So. A little background on paleo. Paleo is basically like eating what people in the Paleolithic ages would have eaten. So hunter-gatherers, I guess, think of that. But there are a lot of guidelines, but also there's a lot of gray area. It really depends on how strict you want to go. So I think I'm going to be pretty strict. Um, and that means no bread, no sugar, no milk, rice, corn, beans, potatoes pasta, oats, soy, anything processed, quinoa, peanut butter, and legumes. Also just like no grains at all, so it's going to be kind of challenging for me, I know. So I just had breakfast, I had two eggs because that's all I could think of. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be eating this week. Um, I also have sunflower seeds in the oven, I'm roasting them. I'm going to be making that into sun butter. Um, I really kind of scared, I have a few meal ideas here. Um, like using cauliflower rice to make stuff <laughs> other than that like squash gnocchi which I had um, during my vegan week we'll have to make a few um, adjustments but basically for paleo it's kind of hard to distinguish what you are willing to eat in that because you're not supposed to have anything processed but there are just some things that you can't make yourself like I think we would have trouble making like coconut milk or whatever so I'm calling things like raw ingredients that are under like the no grains, no milk, no cheese, that kind of stuff. Um, other than that, I'm calling any raw ingredients that fit the guidelines, I'm calling those paleo. So like tapioca starch, for example, is what we're going to be using as flour because we can't have like our traditional like gluten-free rice flour or coconut. I think we can have coconut flour actually. I'll have to check that. But we can't have other kinds, corn flour. So it's going to be interesting and I guess I'm just going to bring you guys along and watch me struggle and be hungry. <laughs> Probably going to be eating just a lot of eggs like I said. So I guess we'll go down and make the sun butter now and then try to figure out something for lunch. I have no idea. So we made it to the end of the week or Almost, I guess, because it is Friday, I had my lunch, um, I'm probably not going to eat a snack, you know what, at this point, I'm just going to quit this diet right now. It's Friday, it's been the week, so I'm really done with it, I have no energy, I just want to eat something out of the package, so I'm going to go through what I ate this week, and the ups and downs, what tasted good, which was not very much, and what tasted bad, which was a whole lot. Um, and just what I'm sick of, what I want. So on Monday I had eggs for breakfast and this was an easy start. Eggs are a fine breakfast. Um, then I ate sun butter cookies, which I was in a rush. We Our TV had broken the night before so we had to rush out and go get a new TV. But I was um, really hungry of course so I had to uh, make cookies and I made them really fast and I dumped in the baking soda and I dumped way too much in and they turned green and they were disgusting so um, don't put too much baking soda in because it's not pretty then for lunch we had gnocchi which was definitely by far my favorite meal this week it was I just love gnocchi so much it's so doughy and reminiscent of something processed and unhealthy but uh, it's actually decently good for you I say it's not quite as good as what you could make that's not paleo, but it was still pretty good. Um, good enough that I would eat it on a regular day. Um, then for a snack, I had part of a sweet potato that I shared with my mom um, with some maple syrup on it. So paleo, it was really tough because we couldn't have sugar or dairy or really any grains. It's just really rough. Um, with trying to find snacks that you can just pop into your mouth because you find yourself like if you don't have like berries or fruit then you end up baking stuff all the time at least that's what happened to us and it just turned out to be really hard 
um, and it took a long time to make every meal. So after the sweet potato, we had fish for dinner, which it was like a battered fish in the air fryer, but the batter I think was just tapioca flour and egg. So normally we would have a lot more in the batter, but it really just limits your options, I guess. On Tuesday for breakfast, I had leftover gnocchi, and then I made sun butter cookies for snack, and I actually ended up making my own sun butter. Um, it was really delicious um, because I was counting sun butter as a processed food because technically it is and it has like more than one ingredient but um, I did get a little bit lax when I ran out of sun butter. Um, then for lunch I made this thing that it looks like pizza, it does not taste like pizza, there's no cheese in it. Um, of course you can make like vegan pizza but you can't have the cheese so it makes it a little rough. So um, the base of it was like um, tapioca, starch, and coconut flour, and oil, um, baking powder, I don't know what else was in it, but it was kind of like a, it was reminiscent of pizza, the dough, but it was really, really crumbly. Um, and then I actually made my own ketchup out of like tomato paste and vinegar and a few spices. So that was actually pretty good. I had that for the fish the night before, but um, it actually worked out as pizza sauce. And then I decided that I was gonna allow myself to have nutritional yeast. Some people say that it is paleo, other people say it's not. I'm just gonna say it is because it's a single ingredient. It's not like dairy, it's not super processed. I mean it is, but it's its, its own ingredient. So I did make a few allowances for myself uh, but then I put chicken on it I think the first time then my mom made Brussels sprouts which were just cooked in oil and salt I think which were really good um, I had never had Brussels sprouts before and then for dinner I was just so done with cooking that I, I didn't eat any dinner <laughs> um, whenever I was hungry like throughout the day I would just snack on sun butter and if you know sun butter like yeah it's tasty but it's not like eating a real snack, you know, like eating an apple would be. It's just there. So on Wednesday, I had a failed attempt at sweet potato pancakes. They were very crumbly. They weren't that good, but at least they had maple syrup on them. Um, that was our sweetener this week, I guess. Even my mom had it in her tea, which is kind of weird. I just, I don't drink tea, so it's just kind of strange to me. Um, but the pancakes did not turn out well. I mean, I'm not very good at cooking pancakes anyway, so. But uh, then for snack, I had sun butter cookies again, which ended up being my only like constant throughout the week. Then I had pizza, which I'm calling pizza-ish because it's not really pizza, with um, turkey on it and Brussels sprouts for lunch. Um, and then I didn't have a snack. And then for dinner on Wednesday, I had a little pizza-ish. Um, you can tell that I'm starting to get more and more lax and just relying on the things that I know how to make and I know that they work. Um, I was already sick of eggs by the end of the first day so I could only like include them and stuff but I did end up having to eat them again because on Thursday my mom made egg and turkey like muffin things. Um, I don't know exactly what they're called but I mean it was more interesting than just eating an egg by itself so that was fine and I had no idea what else to eat anyway so uh, then as a snack I made snickerdoodles and they were really bad. I made the mistake of making a full batch because normally when I am testing a recipe I'll do a half batch because I don't know how they're going to turn out so it was really not a great idea to do a full batch because they were gross but thankfully my dad liked them even though he wasn't doing um, the paleo diet with us so he ate those. Then for lunch I had pizza-ish and then as a redemption, I had some butter cookies for a snack later because I didn't have very many snickerdoodles in the morning. And then for dinner, I had a small piece of salmon. I don't know why. Like, I can't have fish more than once a week. I just, I'm not the biggest fan of fish. Like, I'll eat it every now and again, but really, I can't live on it. And then on Friday, so I had the egg and turkey muffins for breakfast. And then for snack, I had um, some butter cookies again, no surprise there. And then 
pizza-ish, and now we're here. It's about snack time, but I really, I'm so done. So when I'm done with this outro, I'm going to leave and I'm going to eat something processed. I'm gonna quit, I'm sorry. I have zero energy this whole week. I've just been like doing a few school assignments and definitely fewer than I should have been doing. And then like lay down and read and then like watch a movie and that's it. I've had no energy. My mom thinks it's because I haven't been getting enough carbs and I don't know, maybe that's it. So I guess I'll see how I feel after I eat some, you know, real food later. I mean, paleo food is real, but I could not live paleo. It would be terrible. I would, I don't know. And also you can't like find very many uh, recipes on the internet because you'll look up like paleo recipes and then they'll like their ingredients like chocolate and I'm like chocolate but that's cocoa powder which I think is fine but then milk and sugar like that's not paleo so you really had to look through the ingredients and actually make sure something was paleo because a lot of the paleo stuff is really loose and yes I did you know, switch to processed sun butter at the end of the week because I was so done making my own food. But like, chocolate. Mm. So it was definitely kind of more difficult than vegan because vegan there are like solid lines, no animal products, that's it. But um, paleo is kind of more what you want to do, how strict you want to be. And in the beginning, I was like, yeah, let's be really strict the first three days. And then the last two, I'm like, you know, I just want real food. <laughs> um, but the only thing I did end up cheating on was just sun butter. And I'm completely okay with that, but I'm very done with this diet. I would definitely, like comparing this to vegan because I did that a few weeks ago, I would definitely go vegan like for the week every now and again. That was really easy, it was fun but this was such a drag and I just want energy back. I haven't felt like doing anything and maybe that was because I was recovering from doing a big hike, but normally that would take like one or two days and five days of me being really tired and having no motivation is not right. So I'm gonna be done with this. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys learned some more about being paleo. It was really hard for me and I, I don't know if other people have this experience. Maybe I'll watch other people's videos going paleo because I definitely had a very hard time with it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing my experience. Make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts where I just listed some new Harry Potter Hogwarts masks. They're pretty cool. You should check them out. And also my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye!